It can be pretty painful and disappointing. But God is saying to you today that your rejection will turn into blessings. There is a character of God that a lot of persons have lost in their consciousness, and this has made them bound to the rejection of past and shame. It's all a result of a lack of understanding about the ability of God. God can restore all that you've lost. It's one of His abilities and His character. You don't have to walk in condemnation about what happened to you and think about how much of a failure you might have been because you didn't get that job or you were in a relationship that you thought would work out. But in the end, it didn't go as planned in the way you thought it should go. When you become captive to the past and unpleasant experiences, you won't be able to move on and progress in life and the plans that God has for you. You don't have to keep thinking about what your life would be if you were that person. No one can be the definer of a glorious life and future for you. No one person can take glory for what her life is now and what it should be in the future. God is the source of all you have. He is the source of your joy, happiness, and peace. Why are you looking to that person or your ex who's closed the relationship that both of you have planned to lead into marriage? It doesn't matter what's happened in the past. God has wired your life so that nothing can stop the progress of His Spirit in your life, and nothing can hinder and stop the life of blessing that He's set you to be in every day. The Word of God says that the path of righteousness is a shining light, and it only shows brighter and brighter. There should never be a day that was more glorious for you in the past, or a day that was more awful for you in the past. Your life should spring with an unending and ever-increasing stream of glory and blessings. This is what God has planned for you in His destiny. You should accept it and believe His Word above your experiences. When people feel rejected, they begin to do things outside of the will of God, and it can lead to a lifestyle of ungodly lust for the things that God's against. One of the examples of what the spirit of rejection can do in the life of a person is the story of Samson. Samson was held captive in the rejection. When you check the life of Samson, you'll find out, because of the instruction that God gave Samson's parents, how that he could not drink any wine and let any razor touch his head. Samson lived in isolation all the days of his life. He couldn't have friends because he felt he didn't want to be contaminated with the sin of the Philistines. So, he would stand on the cliff and look at how much the Philistines were enjoying themselves, and he wanted to be a part of the enjoyment. He felt rejected by everyone, and you can imagine what would have been going through his mind about himself. This made him desire the kind of life that they were living, and he began to desire to behave like them little by little, until he began to sleep around with ladies, but till the anointing of God didn't leave him, but till the anointing of God didn't leave him because of his sin, even when he lost his strength because Delilah exposed his secret, God still didn't leave him in pain. When he needed him, God showed up for him with mighty strength, and he fulfilled his calling. You might be in this present situation where it seems as if you've been rejected, and because you've lost everything, you've lost your friends and everyone because you decided to follow the will of God, regardless of what everyone around you was saying against the instruction of God to you. God will be a helper in the places where you'll be struggling because of the rejection from society. He'll be a source of strength and joy. But not only that, he's promised that he'll restore to you all that the devil has planned to take from you. He will restore it with blessings overflowing in your life, that you'll not be able to contain it. Stop looking at the past. There is a lot of great plans and future that God has planned for you. God is always our present help in the time of trouble. You should know in whom you've believed. The confusion only goes as far as ignorance stays. This is why you must seek to know God. Because it's not those who have God that will see the wonders of God, but those who know their God. Having God in your life is not enough to see wonders and manifestations of God's power in your life. You need to know God for yourself and believe in His ability to restore and shape you into the best person that He's planned for you. This is why that prophecy of old says that in the places where you've been hated and where no man went through, 
I will make you an excellency, the joy of many generations. God can turn your rejection into blessings. He can make a way in the place where there seems to be no way. There's nothing impossible with God. What God has planned in store for you cannot even be fathomed by you. God is rolling his sleeves. He's getting ready to bless you and give you a tangible restoration that you won't recover from. The blessing of God is the empowerment of ease when the blessings of God rest on them. They begin to do the former things that they do, but this time with much ease that it seems as if they're doing little work, but they're yielding a lot of results. The blessings of the Lord will make you rich and add no sorrow to your riches. You know some are struggling to be rich by all means, so they use their strength and health to get money to feed themselves, and at the end of their life, they use all the sums of money that they've gathered to get back the health that they lost. You do not have to live like that. You can be working and getting maximum profit, and yet you're strong and healthy. God's blessing can make room for you and cause 10 years to be compressed into one of your life. You should always hunger and seek the blessing of God in your life. You can't get much from your efforts and strength. What the blessing of God will do in your life can't be contained by human reasoning and logic. Maybe the reason you were rejected by men is that you were trying to impress people and get through your way by apple polishing yourself. But that can't hold water when it comes to dealing in this world, because we live in a world where a lot of people are seeking for the same job that you want, and they want the same opportunities that you have also. This is why you need the blessing of God. You can try one more time, but this time go understanding that you have and carry the weight of God's blessing in your life. It will swallow the shame and rejection in your life because now you're not going into that office of your own accord, but you're going into the office with the favor of God that causes a man's face to shine and everyone that meets that person loves and likes him always. The blessing of God will make you likable and favorable in all aspects of your life. God is about to change your life and it doesn't take him hours to do that. He can do it overnight, in an instant. You can be one thing today and wake up another kind of person. God does not lift those who are least and who are considered as the weakest, because when he does lift you, you will know that it is not what you externally cooked up, but God's glory upon your life. From today, you will begin to shed scales those who knew you before will not be able to recognize you, because of how much God has blessed you.